How to set up a home theater system for under a thousand dollars. I kid you not. That movie projector only cost me about eight hundred dollars. It dawned on me, why should I spend two thousand dollars on a large screen TV when I could get something much larger for significantly less money? And I'm just using a Sony PlayStation 3 for a Blu-ray player. And the sound system, that's old. I kid you not. That is a CD player. So it's probably over 10 years old. And with these basic bits of equipment, I'm able to make a low-budget home theater system that truly does deliver a great movie experience for an $800 projector and a basic living room I'm able to get a screen that is slightly larger than 11 feet wide the picture is good in my opinion using just a plain wall that is covered with a matte blue paint that's nothing special just what you can find at a home hardware store now note, you can actually buy high grade paint that's very specialized for this job. You will get a better quality picture, but you have to decide for yourself, is this going to be a permanent fixture? And I've heard some pretty good reviews. I haven't tested this paint myself, but a friend has told me it's actually pretty good and you will see an improvement in overall quality. But for all intents and purposes, I think this is working. I think it's working very, very well. And really using an old PlayStation 3 and an $800 movie projector and just using a plain blue wall in a basement, you have to admit this idea was pretty cool. And I'm very happy with the results. And honestly, why go down the TV route? Like this system is so much better. It's great for entertaining guests. It's great for entertaining friends and family. I mean, just the screen size alone, movies become alive and become vibrant, especially ones with a lot of action. There, there just is something about a larger screen. But also portability. Let's say you're teaching a seminar or doing a lecture or just maybe having an outdoor movie somewhere. I mean. This is so portable, you can literally just get an, an extension cord, go outside, and just find a building and just use the wall. I mean, if it's a matte color and it's not bright, that should work. Or a garage door. Now, I have heard in the past, after World War II, after many of the cities were bombed out, Many of the movie theaters were destroyed. And the people who were bored were looking for entertainment. And if the equipment was still working, they would literally take the movie projectors and just find a wall outside and just use that as a movie screen. And it was a form of free entertainment. I have even seen a project in a low-income part of town they were looking for a way to keep the locals occupied and entertained. It dawned on them. They live right next to a hockey rink. And in the summer, obviously, the ice melts. So why not set up a outdoor movie theater? And what these individuals did was they got some large speakers and they got a movie projector and they set up a basic screen. And they would simply watch movies outdoors. And it was a great community experience. And it was just like a good form of free entertainment for these people who were struggling financially. It gave them something to look forward to every weekend. I mean, just bring out your lawn chairs, you know, eat some popcorn, hang out with your friends, watch two or three movies a night. And it was a really interesting experience. But all in all, I'm very impressed with this setup. I think it's an exceptional idea 
And honestly, why spend the money on a big screen TV when you can buy a movie projector? With all the reasons I've mentioned, it's cheaper, the screen is larger, it's portable. I mean, you have to teach a seminar, it's very hard to haul around a very large TV. Hauling around a movie projector is really easy. So, I mean, just the opportunities and the possibilities. So, all in all, I really do recommend this system. It's more affordable, you get a bigger screen, and it really makes your movies come alive. If you're playing video games, it's more intensive. You can see more detail. It truly enriches your video game playing experience because you see so much more details and you see so much more of the action, especially if it's a game that requires a lot of exploring. It's easier to see the details on a larger screen. And also, if you have friends over, family over, the bigger screen, it just makes for a better movie experience. So all in all, I really do recommend this system.